In 2016, this two and a half acres of land was just an abandoned part of a former landfill site. It was completely overgrown and inaccessible with bracken and there was a lot of fly tipping, but a group of local people got together and decided to turn it into a nature reserve. And so we approached East Hants District Council. Uh, they gave us a lease. We first of all started planting wildflower seeds, trees, hedging, bulbs to increase biodiversity and I'm pleased to say that that all went very well and since then we've had lots of projects that have involved local people and now we're also trying to encourage a lot of younger visitors by putting in nature trails with rubbing posts and wildlife animal carvings and hopefully we'll grow up wanting to learn about wildlife and, and care about the place. The District Council's involvement, apart from um, being the, the freeholder, was that we have given grants. Richard Millard and I have given councillor grants. So when Angela and her team, her husband and the rest of the trustees um, came up with this incredible idea to turn this literal wasteland into something that was going to benefit the, uh, the community. So we have tree planting, there are notice boards and information boards as you will see all over the, uh, the nature reserve which is about 300 yards long, 400 yards long, something like that. So it's almost like a linear park. The, the fruition, the change in six or seven years is tremendous and I, I just compliment them. It is so enjoyed by the, by local residents and by children. It, it appeals to all ages. It is a total credit to, uh, to Headley Down, to Heatherlands and to Angela and her team and the charity.